I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is dedicated to the third chakra, Manipura chakra, which is located at the solar plexus between the navel and the sternum. And this chakra is associated with the qualities of willpower, transformation, energy, fire, and all of that good stuff that moves you forward and gets you going and motivated and finds a sense of purpose in the things that you do throughout your day and with your life. So um, this class is going to be energy building and um, hopefully a lot of fun and maybe challenging. So enjoy that throughout class. We're gonna start with some ujjayi breathing. So come into a comfortable seated position, close your eyes and we're gonna connect right away with some deep ujjayi breaths. So breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Close your lips, begin to breathe in and out through your nose with a gentle constriction to the back of your throat. Your breath will right away become audible. So as you begin to connect more deeply with your breath, bring to your mind's eye an intention for your practice, possibly something that you want to manifest in your life. Maybe a place in your mind or your body that you want to strengthen. This chakra is associated with the color yellow. So maybe you just visualize a bright yellow glowing light. Take one more breath here. If your eyes are not already, go ahead and open them. I'm gonna take a side bend and a twist. So breathe in, reach your arms up overhead and come off to your left. Reach up and across with your right arm. Keep your shoulder in line with your hip. Breathe in, come back to center and switch sides. Come off to your right, reach your left arm up and over. Breathe in, come back to center. Take your right hand to your left knee for a twist. Take a full deep belly breath here, expanding your belly on the inhale and contracting it on the exhale. Back to center, both arms up overhead. Bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out behind. Deep belly breath. Inhale, expand your belly and then exhale, contract your core. Bring both arms up overhead, pause here, make tight fists. Now extend your fingertips long and again, tight fists and open and start to increase the pace. Continue with your deep breathing, building heat in your forearms, strength and flexibility in your hands. Start to feel some heat building in your shoulders. Increase the pace a little bit faster. Just moving your energy up from your base all the way through your fingertips and faster. Alrighty, and five. 
four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Ooh. And make your way into tabletop position. Go ahead and rock back and forth just to stretch out your forearms a little bit. Good, and then make your way back to tabletop position for some cats and cows. So breathe in, come into cow pose. Breathe out, round cat pose. Go back and forth with your breath. Last one of each. Come back to tabletop and let's begin to engage the core with spinal balance. So bring your right arm forward and your left leg back. Try to keep one long line from your fingertip all the way back through the ball of your foot. Make sure that your left hip isn't hiked up. So keep it in line with your right hip. Okay, breathe in. Exhale round, elbow to knee for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to spinal balance. Keep your left leg lifted. Place your right hand down on your mat. And then again, keep your hips level as you just lower your forehead down toward your mat and keep your elbows in. And press up, lower down, tap your forehead and up. I'm just doing five, so that's three, four, five. Now, bring your left leg to the right, keep your toes tucked and your heel lifted. And you're gonna walk your hands in the same direction as your foot, so to the right. So you feel a stretch in your left side. You can look back toward your left toes. And come back to center. We're gonna switch sides. So extend your left arm forward and your right leg back for spinal balance. Keep your right hip in line with your left. One long line from your fingertips back through the ball of your foot and hold it here. Draw your belly button back toward your spine so your core is engaged the entire time that you're holding this posture. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale round, elbow to knee for five, four, Three, two, one. Place your left hand on your mat. Keep your right leg extended back behind you. You're just gonna tap your forehead toward or to the floor as your elbows stay in for five. And this is going to be the last one. Press up, now bring your right foot to the left. Keep your toes tucked, your heel lifted. Walk your hands in the same direction as your foot. So to the left, so you feel a big stretch in your right side. Look back toward your right toes. And then walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Place your right knee back on the floor. Now tuck all 10 toes under, and then lift your knees up off of your mat to hover. And hold here. We're just gonna continue to fire up the core, keep the core active. But we're gonna build fire and heat in the entire body, just bringing lots of attention and awareness back to the core throughout our practice. Our solar plexus, our navel chakra, and press up downward facing dog. So release your heels down toward your mat and start to pedal your legs, bending and straightening one leg at a time. Don't forget your deep ujjayi breaths.
All right, bring your feet to touch. Lift both heels high up off of your mat and release your heels to the right as you bend your legs. So feel that stretch in your left side. You can come back to center and do the same on the other side. So heels come to the left, knees bend, hip dips down, arms stay where they are. So feel the stretch in your right side. Even take little bounces here if that feels good. And then come all the way back to center. Separate your feet so they're at hip distance apart. And then we're gonna ripple our way forward to a high plank position. So you're just gonna lift your heels up high and then starting at your tailbone. Your head is the last to come. You need to position your hands so that your shoulders are right over your wrists. Do that so that you have one long line from the crown of your head back towards your heels. We're just gonna hold a static high plank for 10, nine, And this is three, two, one. Hips high, downward facing dog. Breathe in. And out. All right, again, ripple your way forward. So heels, hips, spine, head. Hold high plank here. Now we're just gonna do a little knee tap. So right, left, eight, seven, three, two, one. Down dog. Breathe in. And out. Okay, ripple your way forward to high plank. Okay, now you're just gonna do some taps, right and then left. So you're just tapping your toe to the side for nine, eight, Three, two, one. Down dog. Breathe in and out. All right, so bring your left foot a little bit closer to center. You're gonna lift your right leg straight back behind you for three-legged dog. Now we're gonna do knee to nose five times. So we already did this from spinal balance. So you are gonna round your spine as you come forward. See if you can tap your knee to your nose for five, four, three, two, one, three-legged dog. Step your foot between your hands Lower your back knee down onto the floor. Lift both arms up overhead. Connect the palms of your hands. Bring your hands to your heart and twist. Left elbow to the outside of right knee. So to really tone and stimulate the core and digestion, twists are very, very important in your practice. In your twist, to get the most benefit out of it, you're gonna really focus your breath deep into your belly. And again, you're gonna let your belly expand as you inhale and contract as you exhale. So really feel your abdominal muscles engage at the bottom of your exhale. One more. Okay, release from your twist. Bring both arms up overhead, place them down on the floor. Tuck your toes under, lift your knee up off of your mat. Step back to high plank pose. 
and this time you're going to lower halfway down chaturanga upward facing dog and then downward facing dog all right bring your right foot closer to center and then lift your left leg up for three-legged dog five times knee to nose round your spine as you make contact here so tap your knee to your nose for five four three two one extend back and this time prepare yourself to set your foot between your hands Back knee releases down to the floor. Lift your arms up overhead. Connect the palms of your hands for a twist. Right elbow to left knee, hands toward heart. Active breathing in and out through your nose. So ujjayi breaths really expand and contract as you inhale and exhale. Unwind from your twist, lift both arms up overhead, separating the palms of your hands, release your hands down to your mat, tuck your toes, lift your knee, high plank, step back, chaturanga, lower down, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Breathe in, and out. All right, lift your right leg up. This time just step it straight between your hands for low lunge position. Keep your heel lifted up off of your mat and come into crescent lunge. Lower your shoulders away from your ears as you reach tall through your fingertips. Breathe in here and then exhale, warrior two. As you hold your first warrior pose, connect to the qualities of determination, transformation, power. One more breath here. As you breathe in, straighten your right leg. Keep your arms just as they are. You're going to start to reach forward for triangle pose. Bring your right hand down toward the floor and your left arm up toward the ceiling. You can place your hand lightly on your shin if you want or a block. Just don't place any weight there because I want you to really be active and strong in your core holding your entire upper body up. So for core triangle pose, you're gonna reach your left arm forward. Now reach your right arm forward Imagine that you're holding a ball between your two hands for three, two, one. Lift that ball up with you. Come into five-pointed star. And then bring your hands to your heart. Make your way down to prayer squat. Hold for another couple of breaths, building heat in your legs, keeping your shoulders directly over your hips. Reach your arms up, five-pointed star. Bring your heels behind your toes. You're gonna hinge from your hips and come halfway down. Bring your arms parallel to the floor. Palms face down, neck is long. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Quadriceps, the tops of your legs are tightly engaged. And then from here, bring your right hand toward the floor and your left hand up toward the ceiling without tilting your hips. So twisting from your core back to center and switch sides and again we're gonna do one more on each side
and then come back to center, hold. Five pointed star. Warrior two, reverse warrior, low lunge, high plank, come down to forearm plank, hold your forearm plank for 10. For three, two, one. See if you can press your back, yourself back to a high plank and then back to downward facing dog. All right, lift your left leg up. Place your left foot between your hands, low lunge, crescent lunge, Lift both arms up off of your mat. Again, lower your shoulders. Lift your fingertips high up to the ceiling. Breathe in. And exhale, warrior two. Now, if you can hold the pose with your eyes closed, focusing on your balance, try that. And then maybe you visualize the color yellow or something that you want to manifest in your life. Hold it for another breath. Begin to straighten your left leg. Triangle pose, reach your left hand forward and down. Right arm up. And again, use the strength in your core to support your torso Instead of resting your weight on your hand, whether it's on your shin, block, or floor, see if you can stay lifted. Core triangle, right arm forward, left arm forward, palms facing one another. And five-pointed star, lift up. Prayer squat, lower down, hands to your heart. Hold here. Shoulders stacked directly over your hips. Feel the heat building in your legs. Five pointed star, come all the way back up. Warrior two, face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. Low lunge, high plank, step back, chaturanga, lower down, upward dog, downward facing dog, breathe in, and out. Lift your right leg up. Step forward to low lunge. Rise up, crescent lunge. And this time come into airplane pose. So stepping onto your right foot, lift your left leg straight out behind you. Reach your fingertips back toward your heel. Toes point down. You're gonna make your way from airplane pose to half moon pose. So just opening up to the side, right hand comes down toward the floor. Left arm reaches up toward the ceiling as your left hip rolls open. Okay, now bring your left hand and your left hip down and reach your right arm up for revolved half moon pose. So twisting, deep breaths into your belly. Bring both hands or your right hand back to the floor. So both hands are on the floor. Lift your left leg up a little bit more. Try to keep your hips level though for standing splits pose. And then bring left knee behind right as you squat down into a little ball. And then extend and squat down. And just two more.
come back to standing splits. Place your left foot back down on the floor. Step back, high plank pose. And then from here, you're gonna take your right forearm to your mat, left forearm to your mat, and then come back to high plank, right hand, left hand, and then in reverse. So left forearm, right forearm, left hand, right hand. So right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Downward facing dot. Breathe in and out. Lift your left leg up. Step your left leg forward, so low lunge pose. Come up to crescent lunge. Make your way to airplane. You're gonna hold airplane, keep your hips level, reach your fingertips back toward your heel. Right toes point down towards your mat. From airplane pose, we're gonna open to the side for half moon. Left hand down, right hand, right arm up. Roll your right hip open. So now you're open to the side. And we're gonna transition from half moon to revolved half moon. So a twist in our core. Bring your right hand down, right hip down. Left arm up. Deep belly breaths. Left hand down. So both hands are now on the floor. Standing splits pose. Lower your torso toward your thigh, your head toward your mat. Lift your heel a little bit higher. And then five squats on this side. So right knee behind left, squat down and lift up for five, four, Last one. Now return to standing splits. Step back to high plank. Come into, sorry, <laughs> to low lunge. Now come back to high plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Look toward your hands. Step, walk, or jump through to boat pose. So hold boat pose. Options here are to hold the backs of your legs, have your legs bent, have your legs straight, have your arms extended. Whatever position you're in, just keep your chest lifted. Just feel the fire in your core. Challenge yourself to hold it a little bit longer. I'm shaking. I don't know if you are. Building strength, not just in your body, but in your mind. Go ahead and lower down to low boat pose, hovering your feet and your shoulders over your mat and hold for five. Two, one. Now bend your legs, place your feet flat to the floor so your knees are pointing up to the ceiling. Extend your arms long on your mat so your palms are facing down. Lift your shoulders and your arms up off of your mat. And you're just gonna start to reach toward your right foot and then your left. So right, left, keep going. For five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Just pump your arms. Five, four, three, two, 
One, now lower your shoulders down, head flat to the floor, and lift your legs straight up to the ceiling. Palms, arms still are extended alongside your body, palms facing down. And you're just gonna do little hip lifts. So just lift and lower. This is your last three, two, one. Now bend your legs so they're at 90 degrees. Take your hands behind your head. And we're just gonna do just a couple here, slow bicycle sit-ups. So you're just gonna extend your left leg forward, left elbow to right knee, hold it. Bring your left knee back in. Extend your right leg forward, right elbow to left knee, and hold it. We're just gonna do that two more times on each side. So left elbow, right knee. Right elbow, left knee. Last time on each side. Come back to center, lay down, hug your knees into your chest, place both feet flat to the floor, arms alongside your body and lift your hips up, bridge pose. This is just to stretch the front of your body, your hip flexors, your stomach, your chest, your quads. Okay, now you're gonna take one roll along the length of your spine and you're gonna make your way back to a plank pose. So come forward, cross over your ankles, step back, high plank. Now we're gonna take side plank. So keep your left hand on your mat, roll to the side, reach your right arm up. You have the option of lifting your right leg up off of your left. Remember modification is left knee to the floor. I'm gonna reach your right arm forward now and you're gonna Tap elbow to knee. Five, four, three, two, one. And then roll to the other side. Right hand is your foundation. Lift your left arm up, hold it here. You can lift your left foot up off of your right if you'd like. Bring your left arm forward. You're gonna tap elbow to knee for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to high plank. Now you're gonna lower onto your left forearm so that your forearm is parallel to the front of your mat. You're gonna come into forearm side plank. Now you're just gonna tap your left hip to the floor and lift for five, and other side. So right forearm parallel to the front of your mat. Lift your left arm up and you're gonna tap hip to the floor and lift and lower. Okay, come back to forearm plank. Hold for five, four, Three, two, one. Lower your hips down. Rest your legs on your mat for Sphinx Pose. Lift through the crown of your head. Again, stretching through the front of your body. So lower all the way down onto the floor. You're gonna bend both legs for Bow Pose, Floor Bow. Take your hands, reach around for the outer edges of your feet. Bring your feet back in line with your hips. And then press your feet into your hands and lift the crown of your head up toward the ceiling. Lift your toes up toward the ceiling. Breathe deep into your belly. 
Maybe your breaths will even create a bit of a rocking motion as you inhale and you exhale. and you're gonna press right back to a child's pose. Bring your knees wide and your big toes to touch. And then just let your belly fall between your thighs as you reach your arms forward and rest your forehead down on your mat. Deep ujjayi breaths. Listen to the sound of your inhales and your exhales going in and out through your nose. And just feel the energy running through your body. Notice the beating of your heart. One more breath here. Press back up to a tabletop position. Tuck all 10 toes under. Lift your knees up off of your mat to hover, just like we did at the beginning of class. Hold. Feel the fire in your core. Feel the heat in your legs. Feel the heat in your shoulders. Feel, notice your breath. And just tap in to quality of determination and transformation, power, will. And press back, downward facing dog. Bring your left leg or your left foot closer to center. Lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. You're gonna tap your right knee to your right elbow this time for five. So five. Four, one, three-legged dog. You're gonna set your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lower your back knee down onto the floor. Bend your left leg and reach your right hand around for your left foot. Draw your left heel in, twist through your spine, deep belly breaths. Release your left foot to the floor, right hand back to your mat, and then step back high plank. Lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, and back to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up for three-legged dog. Left knee, left elbow, five times. Tap and lift. Four. This is your last one. Three-legged dog. Left foot to the outside of your left hand this time. Lower your back knee down onto the floor and bend your right leg. Reach your left hand around for your right foot. As you draw your right heel in, twist in your spine, maybe look back towards your toes. Deep belly breaths. and release your right leg to the floor. Left hand to your mat, step back high plank. 
chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Look toward your hands. Step or float through to boat pose. Hold boat for five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your peace fingers around your big toes. Hold your big toes and begin to straighten your legs as much as you can. And then upward angle, you're gonna separate your legs, but keep your chest lifted. So utilize your core for balance. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs. And bring your legs back together. Let go of your toes and hold. And then lower down onto your back. You can hold onto your knees as you go because we're gonna go right into a twist. You can take half belly twisting or full belly twisting pose. And we're just gonna do a little bit of core work as we go into this pose. So bring your arms straight out to capital T, palms face down. You can have your legs at 90 or straight. You're gonna lower your feet to the right, to the center and to the left. Just two more times on each side and then we'll hold the twist. Back to center and release your feet to the right, your legs to the right, either bent or straight. If you have straight legs and full belly twisting posture, you can take hold of your left foot with your right hand and look to the left. Otherwise, if your legs are bent in half belly twisting posture, you can place your right hand on your left knee. Deep belly breaths. Continue working your breath, working your core. Come back to center and then to the left. Set your feet down. Place your hand either on your knee or take hold of your right foot with your left hand. Look to the right. Deep belly breaths. Back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. If accessible to you, take opposite hand to opposite wrist or opposite elbow while keeping your knees and your feet side by side. Try to get your spine flat to the floor by lowering your tailbone down keeping your head on the floor, and keeping your neck nice and long. Breathe deep into your belly. And release Shavasana. 
extend your legs long. Let your feet fall open, arms rest alongside your body, palms face up. Last breath here, breathe in. Big open mouth exhale. Now just come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Let go of your ujjayi breathing. Let go of your focus on your breath. And just come into a place of rest and relaxation. So just slow down. Bring back to your mind's eye. color yellow, qualities of determination, willpower, transformation, energy. And just rest in the energy that you created in your body today. And just let your thoughts drift by as your heartbeat slows down. So much for joining me for class today. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.